375 million years ago, Earth had no bird song, no elephant trumpets, not even the buzz of insects. There was only water and the sound of a fish trying to breathe. It had no legs, but it had wrists. It had no fully formed lungs, but it dared to leave the ocean. Its name was Tiktaalik, and its story will make you question everything. Did all of us truly begin with a fish that learned to walk? The Devonian world, where life was forced to choose. Picture yourself standing here, 375 million years ago. No grass, no flowers, only towering forests of ferns, five times taller than you. The air is hot, humid, and heavy with the stench of sulfur, and the oceans are slowly dying. This is the Devonian, an age ruled by giant underwater predators. Dunkleosteus could bite a modern shark clean in half with a single snap. In a world like that, speed meant survival. But Tiktaalik chose something different. It chose to wait. Its eyes sat high on top of its skull, the perfect vantage point for an ambush hunter lurking beneath the mud. Every time the water level dropped and oxygen thinned, millions of other fish suffocated where they swam. But Tiktaalik breathed, just one scorching gulp of air. But that single breath became the first breath ever taken by our ancestors. Tiktaalik rosy, reaching up to 2.7 meters long, weighing as much as a large dog. It wasn't fast. It didn't have razor-sharp teeth, but it had something no fish before it ever possessed, a real neck. Most fish have their heads fused to their bodies like a single rigid plank, but Tiktaalik could turn its head 30 degrees, 45 degrees, even 90 degrees, and look straight up at the sky. And inside that seemingly useless fin was an entire skeletal blueprint almost identical to the wrist you're holding your phone with right now, a radius, an ulna, eight tiny carpal bones. All of it was there, missing only the fingers as if nature was sketching something new, and Tiktaalik was the very first draft. It had no idea it was making history. All it knew was this. The water was drying up, and predators were closing in. So it crawled, 10 centimeters, then 20, then half a meter. Every centimeter was a million years of evolution, compressed into a single moment. And it was not alone. Thousands, tens of thousands of other Tiktaalik were doing the same all over the planet. Most would fail. But just one surviving bloodline was enough that 375 million years later, you are sitting here, reading these words with eyes that were once the eyes of a fish. That was the first step. Not a leap, but a crawl. From the ocean to the land from fins to the hands typing these words right now. This is the coldest place on the planet. But 375 million years ago, it was a flooded tropical forest. And Neil Shubin knew that long before anyone dug up a single rock. Shubin didn't go searching out of luck. He went because he had a kind of prophecy, written in bone and evolution. Using the tree of life, he calculated with striking precision, there had to be a creature that was half fish, half land animal. It had to live exactly 375 million years ago. It had to live in ancient freshwater rivers, which today, lie buried beneath two meters of arctic ice. 
He only needed to find the right layer of rock, a band exactly three meters thick, sitting precisely between the age of lobe-finned fish and the age of four-limbed animals. Not earlier, not later, just dig and wait. In 2004, after six winters of digging in minus 40 degrees Celsius, after six years of being laughed at as the dreamer, Shubin didn't find just one. He found dozens of nearly perfect tiktalic skeletons. The right species, the right age, the right layer, as if the fossils had been waiting for him for 375 million years. It was one of those rare moments in science when theory collides with reality. And reality turns out to be even more beautiful than the theory ever dared to imagine. Shubin once said, it's like finding the skeleton of your great-great-great-grandmother, and she's exactly where you thought she'd be buried. From that skull, they rebuilt the entire creature, a neck that could turn, primitive lungs, fins with real wrists. Every single feature matched the predictions made back in 1980. Perfectly. Not a single bone out of place. What he held in his hands wasn't just a fossil, it was the most vivid proof we've ever had that evolution isn't a fairy tale, it's a real story, and we had just found the missing page. But that fairy tale lasted only six years. In 2010, a team of Polish paleontologists dropped a bombshell on the scientific world. Clear tetrapod footprints, four toes, wide feet, dated to 395 million years ago, a full 20 million years older than Tiktaalik. If four-limbed creatures were already walking on land 395 million years ago, then Tiktaalik could no longer be our great-great-grandmother. Its throne, as the missing link, was overthrown in a single night. Creationists cheered as if they had just scored in the 90th minute. See, Tiktaalik was just a weird fish that liked mud. Anti-evolution YouTube videos exploded, an 800% surge in views within a week. But the scientists didn't panic. They just smiled, calm as ever, and said, you've got it all wrong. This isn't a failure of evolution. It's one of its greatest victories. Evolution isn't a straight ladder. It's a wild, tangled, chaotic bush. This some branches die. Some survive. Some loop around. Tiktaalik isn't our direct ancestor. It's the cousin of the real ancestor. Same great-great-grandparents. Just a different path. Neil Shubin never claimed Tiktaalik was our direct great-grandparent. He only said, this is the best example we have. And the Polish footprints didn't destroy Tiktaalik. They doubled its value. Tiktaalik isn't the only rung on the ladder. It's just one of hundreds of buried rungs. Every new fossil doesn't kill the theory. It makes it stronger. You think finding older footprints is a failure? No. It's proof that back then, an entire army of walking fish was storming the shore at the same time. So, what is Tiktaalik? Not a king, not a great-grandfather, but the clearest living proof that life never walks alone. It moves in packs, and we, we're simply the luckiest survivors of that ancient crowd. Imagine you are Tiktaalik, lying in a steaming swamp 375 million years ago. All around you are other fish, faster swimmers, sharper teeth, but they will forever remain just fish. And you, you dare to do something insane. You lift your head above the water. You pull in a scorching breath, with a pair of lungs still learning what air even is. You brace your fins against the mud, and you crawl. Just a few centimeters, 
But that tiny distance is the line between the ocean and an entirely new world. 375 million years later, a child runs barefoot along a beach. Every footprint pressed into the wet sand carries your memory. A wrist that can twist so it can grasp. Lungs full of air so it can sing. Eyes facing forward so they can dream. Tiktaalik wasn't our direct great ancestor, but it's a reminder that every great thing begins with one awkward first step. If a fish once dared to leave the ocean, then you, sitting here watching this on your phone in a quiet room, carry within you the strength of 375 million years of evolution. So today, will you dare to crawl out of your comfort zone? Ask the Tiktaalik in your DNA, and it will whisper back, crawl. Thank you for once being a fish that refused to stay a fish forever. You're not the pinnacle of evolution. You're just a fish that learned how to stand upright. Thank you, Tiktaalik. If this video gave you chills, it's not because of me. It's because Tiktaalik is whispering through your DNA. If you want more stories of evolution, hit the like button, comment what you want to explore next, and subscribe so you don't miss the next chapter.